South and North Korea will be sending military generals to the border village of Panmunjom on Tuesday to talk about ways to reduce military tensions. And now what's notable is that North Korea requested this meeting first. Our Lee Seung Jae reports. South and North Korea will hold their second general-level military talks on Tuesday at the Peace House on the southern side of the Truth Village of Panmunjom to discuss measures to enforce the military portion of their April summit agreement. The general-level military talks were first proposed by Pyongyang, who showed disappointment over the lack of progress during their first meeting back in June. Let's not have such talks again. The military, it's disappointing. We fully understand your stance, but next time, let's prepare more so that something like this doesn't happen again. Major General Kim Do-gyun will be leading South Korea's five-member delegation, while the Lieutenant General Anik San will lead the North Korean delegation. The two sides are expected to discuss measures to build trust and increase arms control, such as disarming the joint security area in the DMZ and possibly withdrawing troops and military equipment from border guard posts. Also on the agenda could be the idea of a joint project to excavate the remains of troops in the DMZ who were killed during the Korean War, while some observers say that the military could also discuss the summit agreement to turn the Northern Limit 9, a de facto sea border, into a peace zone to prevent accidental clashes. The first general-level military talks, which were held for the first time in a decade, led to two sides agreeing to completely restore their military communication lines. The two Koreas hope their second talks will be even more fruitful, in line with the Panmunjom Declaration. Lee Seung-jae, Arirang News.